Hey guys, Bob here from Raw Strength and Muscle, and I just saw a video made by a bodybuilder where he talked about what the importance is of drugs, uh, diet, and training in terms of bodybuilding. And I thought it would be cool for us to go ahead and make a video about the importance of TRT training and diet, because there's a big difference between what we do and what a bodybuilder does. And there's a big difference between TRT and like a full blown, you know, PED gear cycle. Okay. So first of all, what he basically said was that diet is the most important. Okay. No matter how many drugs you take, no matter how hard you train, you're not going to lose weight. If you're eating too much, you're not going to gain weight. You know, if you're, if you're not eating enough, and, uh, you know, basically diet is the most important is what he said. Okay. Then he said that PEDs are the next most important. Okay. What he basically said was that he knows like a lot of guys who, um, you know, train different ways. Like they'll train like high intensity, like fewer sets, high heavy weight, or they'll just do like a lot of pump sets, you know, and stay there in the gym longer with lighter weight. Uh, you know, he says that he knows people that train different types of ways and all of them use PEDs. Like every professional bodybuilder uses PEDs. So basically what he says is diet's the most important, PED use is the second most important, training is the least important. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this from our point of view, okay? If you are watching these videos, if you're watching this channel, basically what you want to do is get to like the top 10% or hopefully the top like 1% in terms of health, longevity, appearance, and performance, okay, in terms of like, you know, the strength that you possess when you go to the gym, okay? So if you're like among like the, you know, strongest guy in your gym, not the strongest guy, but among the strongest guys in like your gym, okay? If you're one of the biggest guys, one of the leanest guys, one of the healthiest guys in your gym, you are like top 1% of the world, okay? You're not going to be, you know, bench pressing like 2,000 pounds for one rep and die of a heart attack by the time you're 30 because, you know, you had like, you know, you're just taking PEDs and just eating and didn't care about your health, and destroyed your joints, okay? You're not going to be like negative 0% body fat for like one day, win the Mr. Olympia, and then just balloon up and get fat again. Basically, what we're trying to do is we are trying to just be very strong all the time, okay? Very lean all the time, very big all the time, and very healthy all the time. And that will give you like the best life possible. So in terms of our goals, the most important thing cannot really be determined, okay? Because you need like all three aspects. Your hormones need to be where they should be. Your diet needs to be where it should be. And your training needs to be where it should be. You cannot just say this is the most important and the others don't matter. Okay. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So first of all, when it comes to body composition, okay, as much muscle as possible, as little fat as possible, and to stay healthy, all you really need is diet. Okay. So if you just want to lose weight, even if you just want to lose fat, you can do that with diet. You don't need strength training. You don't need cardio. You don't need, you know, any type of hormone treatments. All you need to do is make sure that you eat properly. Okay. Um, you know, like I said it before, like if I want to burn 500 calories a day, I could get on the treadmill. I could go run, walk, whatever, and burn 500 calories a day, or I could just eat 500 calories less. You don't need to train. You do need to make sure your diet's in check. At the same time, if I burn a thousand calories a day and I eat 2000 calories over my caloric maintenance, I'm still going to get fat, even though I'm burning a thousand calories a day. So no matter how good or how bad, how much or how little you train, okay, if your diet's not in check, you are not going to get like lean and maintain muscle, okay? Whereas you can get lean and maintain muscle from diet alone. Okay. Uh, you know, in terms of health, in terms of strength, if you are not eating enough protein, if you are not eating all of your proper macronutrients, your proper micronutrients, you are not going to be healthy. Okay. So diet is the absolute most important for health. Diet is the absolute most important for maintaining a low body fat and maintaining muscle mass and maintaining your strength. Okay. Now, what is the point to, um, you know, having the perfect diet 
if you are not going to give your body the stimulus to grow, to grow stronger and to grow bigger. Because your diet can be absolutely 100% perfect, okay? Your hormones can also be 100% perfect, but the reason why your body physically changes, aside from fat loss is or fat gain, is going to be because of the training. If you want to run a marathon, you damn well better get out and run a damned marathon. If you don't train like a marathon runner and effectively train like a marathon runner, you are not going to become a marathon runner. If you want to get strong, do lots of pull-ups, do lots of weighted pull-ups, if you want to do squats, whatever you want to do, you need to train properly to do that, okay? No matter how good your diet is, no matter how good your hormones are, you are never going to get the physical effect that you do not train for. Now, it's interesting when he says that training was least important because he said, I know some guys who do high intensity training, I know guys who do light weights, high sets, pump sets, you know, and everybody is, you know, in shape. It does. So basically what he says is it doesn't matter what kind of workout you do, as long as your gear and your diet are in check, you're going to get results. But that's not true. See, he is a expert amateur bodybuilder, I believe, okay? Um, you know, he's talking about professional bodybuilders. He's talking about expert amateur bodybuilders. He's talking about people who have accomplished something. Now, first of all, he's also talking about just people who, you know, train to look good. Now, if I go to the gym, I'm going to see all kinds of people that train completely wrong, and they are never going to get results until they train properly. You could shoot them up with all the gear in the world. You could give them the perfect diet. If they just go and they kind of like look around and they don't really know what they're doing and like, okay, well, I'm going to walk on the treadmill for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to do, you know, do some lateral raises with five pound dumbbells to build my lats and then... Um, you know, I don't know, do some, you know, concentration curls with a two and a half pound dumbbell because that's how you get big guns and, uh, you know, whatever, then we go home. You need to train properly. Like I said, he has a bias. I'm not saying he's a bad person, but he a, has a bias because everyone he knows, everyone he trains around is somebody who knows what the hell they're doing and they get results. So, like I said, I mean, if you don't train properly, specifically for strength, you're not going to get strong. If you don't train properly to get big, you're not going to get big. So you definitely need to train. Training is the stimulus. So diet only supports the stimulus. If you eat proper caloric, you know, your proper calories, your macronutrients, your micronutrients, your protein, etc., and you don't train, you're not going to grow because you need the stimulus for growth break your body down in the gym, and then you rebuild using the materials from your diet, okay? So yes, diet's the most important, but without the stimulus, okay, you are not going to train. I heard somebody at one point say like, deliver a whole bunch of bricks and a whole bunch of two by fours to a building site, but if they don't have workers there to actually build a house, you're never going to have a house built regardless of what building materials you have. Eat the perfect diet. If you don't break your muscles down for them to regrow using those raw materials you're consuming in your diet, you're never going to get any results, okay? And like I said, most people have no clue what they're doing. The few people who actually do go to the gym and get something resembling results, when's the last time that you saw somebody with a notebook? Like literally writing down like exactly how many sets, exactly how many reps they did, exactly when they did it, trying to add like a one and a quarter pound plate or a two and a half pound plate here and there, trying to get one more rep here, trying to get one more rep there. How many times do you see somebody with like a timer timing the rest in between sets? I mean, there's a huge difference between doing, you know, a set of deadlifts and waiting one and a half minutes and doing another set as opposed to doing, you know, a set of deadlifts and waiting six minutes you know, and doing another set. I mean, you need to have everything perfect. You ha Your workouts have to be perfect. Scheduled perfect, timed perfect, recorded perfect, increase the intensity perfect. Everything has to be perfect to get good results, okay? So, like I said, diet controls your ability to lose fat. It also controls your ability to build muscle, but you only build muscle if you properly train. Now, the thing about the uh, testosterone replacement or the hormone replacement therapy, uh, you know, some people have problems with their thyroid, okay? That is just to optimize the work you're going to put in and the diet you're going to get, okay? I know, like personally, I've spoken to a lot of people who are on testosterone replacement, okay? And they did it for like health reasons. They did it so they feel better, you know, depression, you know, whatever, just sexual reasons like they're, you know, to work on their libido, et cetera. They don't work out, okay? So the point is, 
Like, they look like healthy people. You know, like, wow, for a 40, 50, 60-year-old guy, that guy looks, you know, pretty good. He looks pretty healthy, okay? Obviously, you're going to have more muscle and less fat if you've got the testosterone of an 18-year-old, okay, than if you have the testosterone of a 40, 50, or 60-year-old, okay? So, yes, it certainly does help. But none of them look like bodybuilders. None of them look like athletes. None of them look like Stallone in his 70s, okay? None of them look like that because they do not train, okay? They do not diet properly. So just like a diet is only going to support your training, which is the stimulus to grow stronger and bigger, it's the same thing with the hormones, okay? Like, Right now, okay, when I go to the gym, I basically see myself as an 18-year-old, as a 20-year-old, even though I'm 47, I'm gonna be 48 in two weeks. But I think I can still hang with the 18-year-olds. Like if I see a guy who's 18, 20 years old, and he's stronger than me, I don't make any excuses because I'm injecting testosterone, okay? You know, I'm taking my vitamins and my supplements, my over-the-counter supplements to basically give myself the hormone balance of an 18-year-old, okay? So what this does, this is allows me to train like an 18-year-old and get the results of an 18-year-old who trains. It doesn't mean that, you know, I jab myself in the ass or these days I jab myself with a you know, little bit every other day in the shoulder, but... It doesn't mean I jab myself in the ass and all of a sudden, boom, I drop 50 pounds and I build 20 pounds of muscle. It means basically that it gives me the ability, if I eat properly and if I work out properly, that I will get the results that I would have gotten if I was a much younger man, okay? So basically, that's what it comes down to. Yes, diet is the basis. If you're malnourished, i.e. not getting all of your micronutrients, all of your macronutrients. If you're starving, not getting enough total calories. If you're overeating too many calories, you're not going to have the body composition that you want. And no matter how well you train or no matter how good your hormones are, you are not going to get results unless your diet is right. Now, as perfect as your diet and your hormones are, if you don't train, you will not have the stimulus. Yes, you will be leaner and more muscular and stronger and healthier than someone who doesn't have proper hormonal balance, okay? But if you do not have the training, the stimulus to grow your body bigger and stronger, you're not going to get results regardless of how good your hormones and your diet are. And like I said, the hormones, all they do is allow you, okay, to get the results that you should have gotten if you weren't as old as you are. Okay, like I remember one guy was talking, you know, rubbish on one of my uh, videos. He's like, yeah, TRT is a performance enhancing drug. There's no way at 36 that I'd be able to train like this if I wasn't on TRT. Well, yes, exactly. There's no way that at 36, he would be able to train like an 18 year old who's half his age if he wasn't on TRT. But it doesn't mean that he's gonna be 300 pounds of pure muscle at negative 0% body fat. What it means is at 36, he could train like an 18 year old. And if he trains like an 18 year old, he will look like an 18 year old and he will perform like an 18 year old. Okay, so that's where the hormones come in. You know, like I said, and even, you know, this is just TRT, this is just hormone replacement. Okay, but even if you are doing like legitimate P, uh, PED levels, once again, all it does is allow you to train harder and recover. Okay, so even if you are doing, because I think we all know that The Rock is on like massive amounts of gear. Okay, the older that he gets, the bigger that he gets, the leaner that he gets. The Rock is juiced up to the gills. No problem with that whatsoever, but we know it's true. And still, he wakes up every morning at like three in the morning, does an hour of fasted cardio, eats breakfast, does like an hour of weight training, and then he goes to work. So if it was such a thing like, oh, just do some gear and sit in your ass and eat pizza all day, why is it that he eats like cod three times a day? He eats salmon. He says he hates salmon, but he eats salmon because of the micronutrients, because of the healthy fats. You know, why is it that he measures and eats crap he doesn't like to eat? Why is it he wakes up in the morning, fasted cardio for an hour every single morning, you know, then he does his, uh, his weight train. Why is it that he does this? if all you need to do is take gear. So like I said, I mean, if this is your excuse, it's like, well, I'd be just like you because if I took gear, I'd sit on my ass on the sofa and eat ice cream and fucking watch Netflix all day and I'd be fucking jacked. No, you wouldn't. But if that's your excuse, that's fine. If that's what you want to believe. You know, like I said, all this really does is give you the opportunity that if you put the work in, in the gym and it, the diet, the discipline in the diet, you will get the results that, you know, you could get. That's all it does, whether it's, 
you know, testosterone replacement or whether it's a full blown gear cycle. All it does is allow you to get results from the work that you put in. As a matter of fact, people who are on testosterone replacement usually work harder and diet harder than people who aren't. And people who are on PEDs work very hard or tr and train very hard, okay? And if they don't, they look like rubbish because it's just the way things are. You know, you've seen me, I had some uh, problems with my diet. I had like some uh, inflammation because I was taking carbs pre and post workout and my body started breaking down because I can't handle carbs anymore. And guess what? I got weaker and I got fatter. Now, if all it takes is gear, you know, I've been taking now at 47, almost 40, I've been taking P, uh, TRT since I was 43. If all you have to do is just jab yourself in the ass, why is it that when I work out, I look good, feel good. When I don't work out, don't diet, I look bad, feel bad. So anyway, that's the way I break it down. Let me go ahead and, you know, ask you guys down below, especially if you're on TRT, especially if you train, especially if you diet, like what is it that you think is the most important? testosterone replacement or hormone replacement, diet or training. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing your comments. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.